What's up guys? It is I, once again, Yusuf Al Sanad. And uh, today guys, I want to do a special kind of tag video which is known as the animated Oscars tag uh, in, in which I was tagged by my friend and fellow YouTuber Rachel Wagner. And uh, this tag is, uh, it consists of 22 questions I think in which I have to answer them one by one. So I'll try to make it as simple as possible and it took quite a while to make this list. And by the end I'll tag four people who I really like them and their channel. And here we go. Number one, a film that should have been nominated but wasn't. That would be Park Chan-wook's Old Boy. Number two, a terrible film that was nominated for an Oscar. That would be Clint Eastwood's uh, American Sniper. Number three, a movie that won an Oscar you don't care for. That would be Paul Haggis's Crash. Uh, number four, a film about a robot you love. That would be Pixar's Wally. -E. Number five, a film with no dialogue. Uh, that would be The Artist, the recent uh, foreign uh, uh, silent film which I really love. Number six, a film you like but everyone else loves. Uh, that would be Alejandro Gonzalez in Naruto's uh, Birdman. Uh, number seven, a film which has grown on you each time you see it. That would be George Miller's M Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, number eight, a movie you wish you could uh, convince everyone to watch. That would be um, uh, Thomas Alfredson's uh, Let the Right One In. Number nine, an underrated comedy. That would be the Coen Brothers' Raising Arizona. Number 10. What is a movie made for kids that scared or would have scared you? That would definitely be Return to Oz. Number 11. A movie based on a graphic novel you love. That would definitely, most certainly be La Vie du Adèle Chapter 1 et 2, also known as Blue is the Warmest Color. Uh, which is written by Julie Moreau and the film was directed and written by my favorite filmmaker and storyteller of all time Abdel Latif Kashish, a masterpiece, I love that movie whoopsie and uh, a, number 12 a sequel be better than the original <laughs> that would be Star Wars Empire Strikes Back and uh, number 13 favorite movie with ghost uh, Oh man, oh yeah, that would be Jew on the Curse, the Japanese version and the original version of The Grudge. Both are still good, by the way. Uh, number 14, favorite Wes Anderson film, that would be Moonrise Kingdom. Number 15, favorite Tim Burton movie, um, I would have to say uh, from the top of my head, uh, Edward. And uh, number sixteen, a movie you like parts, uh, a movie you like parts of, but don't like other parts. That would be The Dark Knight Rises. Flawed, but still a good film. Number seventeen, a movie about a family you love. That would have to be the French family drama Les Boites, also known as Boxes, uh, directed and written by Jane Birkin. Number 18, a movie based on a true story you love. That would be Peter Jackson's Heavenly Creatures. Number 19, a movie that takes a strange turn in Act 2. <clears throat> that would have to be the uh, 2008, I believe, psychological drama slash horror film, Martyrs. Number 20, favorite Marvel movie. That would definitely be X-Men Days of Future Past by Brian Singer. Number 21, favorite Disney princess movie. That would be Beauty and the Beast. Number 22, favorite movie about two friends. That would be Tom Hooper's The King's Speech. Well guys, that's my uh, take on the animated Oscars tag. Now, I will be tagging four people. 
The first one being Critics Business, also known as Sean McGerald or Sean McG, my friend and brother, I'm tagging you. The second one is Overdrew Review, also known as George McInturf. And uh, the third one is uh, Rob Ryan or Rob the Movie Reviewer. And the fourth one is Samantha of London City Girl. And I tag all four of you, uh, you guys. And uh, thank you all for watching. Please, uh, please subscribe to Rachel Wagner's channel. I'll put a link for her channel down below in the description box. And check out my other channel for games. I'll put the link for that down below as well. Until next time, guys. Peace out. Take care. Adios, amigos. Au revoir. And sayonara.